I do want to go through all of this part first to see if there's any cutscene. But if there's not, then we're going to do it. Yeah, no, they're still just here. We could still just head up. All right, we'll select some missions and then... Okay, well, I don't want to actually have to pause to let you read everything. So I will just go... Oh, I went too far. So I will go to the boards while you're here watching. And we'll pick something together. Not really. Not together, because you can't tell me what to do. I am here in the present, and you're not. Wow. Star 9? Holy crap, difficulty 1600. Floor 57. Ah! No! I'm not gonna do that. Mean star you, though. I do want to see this one, though. I mean, it's difficulty 600, star 4. That should be pretty... That should be pretty bad. But the reward is a reviver seed. Did I say reward? Felt like it didn't. I might have said reward. Reward is a reviver seed plus a mystery. And, you know, we should get some good points for that. You know, explore rank points. And as a star you, Ivy is going to be in a bit of trouble, yeah. But I feel like with, like, Mega Drain, I should be pretty good. So... I'm gonna take this Mystifying Forest one. If there's anything else in Mystifying Forest, I'll... Nope. Oh, I need to go to the job list first and make sure that that is selected. So this one, take the job. Now we'll check on the actual job boards and see if there's anything else in Mystifying Forest. Um... Um... Uh, oh no. But there is this mystery place! Explore with Ampharos! There's this dungeon that no one knows about yet. Let's get an exploration team together. That is pretty cool, but I'll save it for another time. After all, we do have our four-star mission, which could be difficult. I don't know how to gauge things yet. I mean, that last one at rank B was really easy, and I wasn't sure that it would be because I thought rank B was pretty good. I mean, it's B, A, S, and then you start getting into all the stars. But I guess at this point in the game, we're expected to take on the star missions. I have to assume. So... Yeah, I think the issue with the star missions for me is just how long they are. Because that just means that I have to skip a lot of the dungeon, which means I have to sit here just recording by myself instead of actually talking to you guys. I don't know. It feels different. But we're going to head now to the Mystifying Forest, where we have the Outlaw Staryu on floor 7. So hopefully this shouldn't take too long to figure out. Or figure out. To reach the end. Because again, Mystifying Forest, it didn't seem that difficult last time. Sure, there were some issues that came up. Like with how... You know, again, yeah, things like Torterra are just powerful. But he does give us 500 experience, which is actually really quite nice, as far as I'm aware. I'm kind of thinking back again to, like, how I was judging things based upon Team Charm and whatnot, where 500 was good. But maybe it's not so good here. I don't know. I guess we'll see in due time. One way to check... I probably shouldn't have just rushed into him. Just rammed my face into this Venonat. 37 experience points from him. Everything is so variable here, but I will check my summary, see how much I need. Um, to next level, I need 10,000 experience. What about Ivy? Since Ivy leveled up more recently, this is probably a better gauge. 13,000. Actually, so we're still probably within about the 20,000 range as far as how much we'll need upon reaching a new level to reach the next level. Which, I don't know, 20,000 is a lot, but I felt like it would have been worse, if I'm to be honest. So, maybe it really won't be that bad after all. Okay, I'll let you beat this Grottle, I believe its name is, first. Yep. Or maybe you pronounce it Grottle. Because that'd make sense with, you know, grass growing, Grottle. But, I don't know. I feel like there's also something else that it could kind of, like, represent that I'm not thinking of right now. I'm going to ignore that and keep going. And down we find nothing. Oh, swallow it. I remember when Ivy wouldn't attack that Swallet, and I was like, why not? And then it turns out her only move that I'd given her was out of PP. That was my bad. Though I am surprised now that I think about it that she didn't start nudging. Can only I do that? It's weird. Either way, here we are on the third floor of Mystifying Forest. If I do encounter an item that I want and my bag seems to be full, I will just replace it with a stick. But for now, I will pick up more sticks to stack them. I mean, no need to get rid of them just yet if I don't have to. I guess Graveler Rocks too, another thing that I'll get rid of. I didn't mean to do that. Ivy, take him out. Oh, I just realized again that Ivy is stuck on Flamethrower. How many more of those do you have? Nine. That's actually not bad. I'll turn on Fire Spin too, because that at least is like, it gives her another option. I don't know. I do think, though, for Staryu, even though, you know, Staryu is, um... Da, 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 water type and Ivy's obviously fire type. Flamethrower probably would be best just with how things seem to work. I actually want to step away. Ow! 
wanted to step away so that, you know, I would be out of the explosive radius. Which worked for me, but Ivy attacked. Just kept attacking. Which I don't blame her for. But, you know, bit of a shame. Take out this Flygon here. Receive 411 experience. See, that's another Pokemon that's good with experience. And a Poke and a Graveler Rock here. Did I finish what I was saying? I was just gonna have Ivy use Flamethrower anyway because Flamethrower seems to be strong. And in this game, it doesn't seem like the type disadvantages do a significant amount less. Maybe I'm remembering wrong, but it doesn't seem like it. Or like when things should be, you know, not very effective, that's what I mean. Like when I used Mega Drain on that Torterra and I still, it still did like 50 damage. I was genuinely surprised by that, but that's just how it works here, I guess. So, yeah, I do want Flamethrower just because it's the most powerful move that she has right now. Fifth floor, we are getting closer and closer. Alright, let's tackle you! And you can use Fire Spin, perfect. I was hoping she'd use that over Flamethrower, and she did! Made my day, well, made my moment. It's gonna take more than that to make my day. Alright, any any stairs? Nope, stairs here. No, nope, but there's an orb. An ex evasion orb. Alright, cool. That'd be good for a monster house if I didn't have, like, a Petrify Orb or something. But why would I not have a Petrify Orb or a Faux Seal Orb or something? Oh, another thing. While playing Team Charm, I can't remember if it was part 3 of 4 or part 4 of 4. And I forget what numbers they were, like, 50, 51 or something like that? Maybe 51, 52. Either way, I reached the monster house at one point, and to play it safe, I used the Petrify Orb and then just ran to the stairs. I didn't fight anyone. And people told me that Petrify Orbs will make it so they're all petrified until I attack them, so I could have gotten a bunch of experience and everything. Which doesn't really bother me too much, because, you know, the rest of the dungeon, or the rest of that special episode was fine, and I don't think the levels are going to carry over to the NPCs, you know, the AI characters or whatnot. So, whatever. Um, but will the same thing happen with Faux Seal Orbs and that kind of deal? Like, will they be Faux Sealed? Forever? Or is Faux Seal kind of like a downgrade to Petrify Orb? If you want to answer that in the comments, go for it. I am curious. It won't be a life-changing, but, you know, it could save my butt one of these times. You never know. For now, I am going to default on, like, Petrify Orbs when I reach monster houses that just seem too difficult. Because, uh, frankly, yeah, I don't, I don't want to die. That's about it. Alright. Chikorita wants to join your team. I actually will accept Chikorita because it's Chikorita. You know, starters are just cool to have. Oh. I didn't mean to... No, I'm just gonna keep you as Chikorita. I don't have a nickname for you right now. Okay, goodbye. I actually don't remember if I can nickname them later. If I can, oh well. Also just realized that, um, now Chikorita might take some Reviver Seeds against this Staryu. That's kind of bad, because, you know, Chikorita is one of those really weak Pokemon. But we'll see what happens. Okay, that's just a Warp Seed, which I don't need. Here we go. Seventh floor. Staryu's here. There you are. Wanted out, lost, spotted. Okay, first thing I want to try is using a Stun Seed. So I'm going to throw! Haha! -ha! Who's petrified now? Mega Drain. No longer petrified. Darn it. I was hoping that it would do more than just petrify, because I knew that as soon as I attacked it, you know... That wouldn't work. Sorry, you became a grass type? Alright, well, Ivy, do your thing. I'm just gonna turn off... Yeah, moves, fire spin really quick. Just focus on flamethrower, yeah. What about you, Chikorita? What moves do you have? Not a lot. Good to know. Okay, use Razor Leaf, I guess. And I will continue using Mega Drain. Flamethrower! Yes! Haha, <laughs> Staryu was defeated. Yes, knocked out Outlaw Staryu. You've completed a mission. Would you like to leave the dungeon now? Yes, I would. Do you really want to leave? Yes. Because for this dungeon, only going on like six more floors, and with how the Pokemon are so like variable and how much experience they'll give me, yeah, yeah, I'll just leave. I did what I came there for. I'm done. This is you brought Staryu in for a rest. This is this is, take this item as your reward. Riz's team received the item Reviver Seed. The Reviver Seed was put in storage. This is, take this item as your reward. Received the item Psych Up. Alright, I don't care for that too much, but another one! The Petra Scarf, okay. And 600 Explorer. Oh, I thought that was the difficulty, but no, that's how many points I'll receive, so one of them I would receive 1,600 points. That'd be great, that's 1,600 for those of you who don't want to think right now, which I understand. Thank you for your cooperation, Zzzz. 
And off you go, Magnazone. Thank you for being an officer of the law. We worked hard all day long. I'm tired. We should get some sleep now. We'll need it for another full day tomorrow. Yes, that we will. The next morning. I don't know, I mean, I was gonna quit after that mission, but I kind of want to keep going until I reach, like, another, um, you know, like, spot in the story that would change, like, another cutscene or something, like, go through the cutscene and then call it, you know, that kind of deal. I don't know, I also want to get Chikorita off my team because, yeah, level 6 right now wouldn't be the best. We would, we would lose many times. But for now, you know, I'm gonna take the time to get Chikorita off my team. I'm gonna sell some things, you know, rearrange my item bag so I have some room to pick up items in future dungeons. Then I'll go to the Outlaw Notice Board, the Job Notice Board, find more things to do, and yeah, I'll see you soon. Oh, there's a cutscene out here. Oh, there's someone at the cafe entrance. Okay, let's, let's talk to them, I guess. I wonder what's going on. Yeah, it seems like there's some happy news for all the explorers. I wonder what kind of happy news. Now I'm really interested. I'm going to go find out. Alright, let's go and see what there is to see. I'm going to! Alright, Mr. Mime, good for you. Huh? Somehow this all seems familiar. Like we've done this before. I wonder what's going on this time. Or this time. Okay, yeah. Hey, Riz, I think we should go and see too. Sure thing. Oh, I don't even have a choice. I'm going down into the cafe. <clears throat> All right. Wow, there's a crowd. There is indeed. Yay, Spinda. May I have everyone's attention, please? First of all, I'd like to thank you for taking time out of your busy schedules. Oh, that was weird seeing Zangoose walk on all fours. I've got some happy news for everyone today. Has anyone here ever heard of a mountain called Sky Peak? Sky Peak? I've heard of it. Oh, all right. It's a really tall mountain to the east. Okay, it's said that the mountain is so tall, it almost reaches beyond the sky. Okay, but it's surrounded by an impossible mountain range. Or impassable, sorry. So the route there has been lost. That's why it hasn't been fully explored yet. Okay, cool. Yes, that's absolutely right. You sure do know your stuff. Just as Mr. Mime said, Sky Peak has not been fully explored. So it still holds many mysteries. High enough to reach beyond the sky. A mysterious mountain that still holds many secrets. That sounds like enough to catch the interest of any explorer. Let's go and see. See for ourselves. If that's what you're thinking, then we are ready to fulfill that wish through Project P. We've been working on reclaiming the path to Sky Peak. And finally, a couple of days ago, we succeeded! Hooray! Furthermore, furthermore! Not only did we succeed in reclaiming the path, we also made a discovery! At the base of the mountain, we found a small hidden village! <gasps> what? Hooray! A hidden village? That makes me think of ninjas or something! <laughs> yep, of course, it's not a village of ninjas. Instead, some very rare Pokemon known as Shaman live. Oh, really? No, that- wow, yeah, no, that's pretty- that's pretty rare. Alright. Shaman? Yes, I'm afraid I don't know much about them either. But they are incredibly cute! C cute I'm interested. Oh, he likes the cute ones! Furthermore, according to the survey team's report, on the outskirts of the Shaman village, they found a mountain path to the Sky Peak Summit! <gasps> this is a huge discovery! This mountain has not been properly surveyed in some time. Piles of treasure. Opportunities for new discoveries. So I think. Furthermore, or so I think, I don't know. Legend says that there's an incredible treasure hidden there that rivals all other treasure. Hooray! Treasure. Discoveries. Wonderful. Yes, and it is all waiting for you. I'll show you the location of the Shaman Village. You can now go to the Shaman Village. Okay, cool. For more details, please direct your request to the Project P survey team already on location. So everyone, let's get moving, with hopes and dreams on our minds and smiles on our faces. Hooray! <laughs> is, that, is that the end of the cutscene? 
This is so cool, Riz. Did you hear that? Piles of treasure. New discoveries. I'd love to meet these shaman. Let's go. Let's go right away. This is gonna... Okay. Now that the cutscene's over, I just want to say I like the role that they have shaman have in this game. It's... <laughs> I don't know, I think it's really cool because he's like this little entrepreneur kind of guy, but he's actually doing things. Not only does he have his little, like, juice stand and whatnot, and his recycled items thingy, but now apparently he's, you know, taking the initiative to go out and find the path to Sky Peak and whatnot, and he found the village, and he organized all the explorers to tell us the news. I just think that, like, he plays a cool role in this series. I don't know. Did you call me Risen Ivy? Hello there. Welcome to Chimeco Assembly. Members. Wait, is it? Oh, okay, for a second I thought that had an apostrophe, and I was about to say nope! Okay, stand by. Okay, so you're now off the team roster. Good. Yay, now it's just Ivy and Riz again. Go us. We're going to save here at the well, save and continue. And even though that did happen, where I think we do need to go to Shaman Village now, or Sky Peak or whatnot, in order to make progress in the story. I kind of have my mind set on one more dungeon while I'm sitting down to play right now. Then I'm gonna have to take a break because it's in the throat. Um, etc. But yeah, so Adelon Notice Board, Waterfall Cave, Applewood Steam Cave, Brine Cave. Everything is at a different location. And yeah, that's unfortunate that I can't take on like two at once. I think then that since apparently I can handle the star people, I will try this one. Horrible Skip Loom, Brine Cave, 8-4. We'll get 400 points for that, so that's pretty cool. So that was Brian Cave. And now I will go over to the bulletin board to see if there are any jobs at Brian Cave. So if we can, you know, you know, two birds with one stone kind of thing, might as well. Two new dungeons, those are pretty cool, except they're really high up there as far as the stars go. But hey, again, maybe we can handle that now. And I do want to handle these two Mount Bristle things at some point, just because, you know, we get a little bit of Poke, we get a special ban and mystery item, and just some little points. Like, they're obviously not big things, but at this point, the only reason, or the only way we're gonna get big rewards, I think, is by handling S and then Star missions. So I'll go to Mount Brian, we'll handle this last dungeon for the day, you know, for my sit-down recording. It'll be probably a, a couple videos for you guys, but, um... Yeah, let's head out right away. So, where would you like to go? I would like to go to Brine Cave, right there. Yes. Okay, cool. And then at some point in the future, probably the very next thing I do after this dungeon, will be going to Shaman Village, Sky Peak, whatever it's called on the map. I think it was Shaman Village first, and then I was supposed to talk to them. They would lead me on. Um, but yeah, so now you are in the know, and will probably be making progress. Because again, I assume that that is what I have to do in order to actually make progress in the game. So far, this dungeon is being like really kind with its stairs, being like right there. Ah, oh, but not a repeat, not this time. All right, let's go find- Hey, we found the stairs already! Go us. It's probably just because we're awesome and good at looking for things. All right, now we're at the fourth floor of Brian Cave. I think it was the eighth floor I needed things. Purple gummy, I'm taking it. Mine. I'll just kill you really quick with Razor Leaf. I'm gonna swap you spots. Razor Leaf! Good, it actually did reach far enough. And that Kingler is down. Okay. Um, there's this item, which we will take. Poke, 29, not a ton, but hey, it all adds up over time. And here we find the stairs. I was like, are you in the wall? I didn't even think about the whole, like, water thing. Alright, 257 experience. Not bad for killing one Pokemon. I mean, like, at this stage. So, there's Shockwave, which neither of us can use, but you never know. Maybe at some point in the future we'll find a Pokemon that we really love and want on our team. So, there's an apple, there's an Orenberry, here's another apple. And then we need to find the stairs, which are not here. That was a dead end. Ugh, you. Die for another 250 experience. And then you. Good, okay, seal. Ha. Couldn't even reach us. It is kind of fun when I get to take out Pokemon without even having seen what they are. I like it at least. And with every Pokemon we defeat, we are that much closer to actually leveling up again. Which is always cool. Leveling up is nice, increases our stats, gives us opportunities for new attacks. What is there not to like about it? Alright, let's go down. Wait, no, Poke, I want you! Okay. So, yeah, then it's the 8th floor where we have the outlaw. I already forgot, was it- it was horrible Skip Loom, right? Yeah. 
we get to fight a skip loom which means that Ivy will be doing the brunt of the damage, but I will certainly do my part. I will attempt Mega Drain over and over again. And I will, I'll admit, Dugong looks nice here. I like, I don't know, I like its tail, I guess. It's all like sleek and curvy and whatnot. It was a good, it was a good look is what I'm saying. Okay, well, I will take on this Ammonite. You take care of the Kingler. All right, your job is done. My turn! Ow, Brian. Okay, my turn. Good. Ammonite is down. Oh, no! I want it. I need it. Oh, well. Oh! Forgot to point out. <laughs> Actually, um, I, while I was off camera, too, I had Zatu open up, like, all of my boxes. You know, I appraised them all. And I actually got um, a Torthorn and a Grotal Twig. I already have the Sprout Rock, but let's look at it anyway. So, boost, or slightly boost defense and special defense for Turtwig, Grotal, and Torterra. It just says keep it in the treasure bag. And I think I can have multiple things at a time affecting one Pokemon, right? So I also have the Grotal Twig, um, slightly boost defense, and the Torthorn. Slightly boost attack. So I figured, you know, just to boost my attack and defense and stuff, why not? That sounds like a good deal to me. Ow! Mega Drain! Good, and that healed me most of the way. Okay. And we found the stairs again. I don't think I'm gonna even check that orb. Seventh floor. Oh, and look! We're right by the stairs for this one! Eighth floor, now we get to take on the outlaw. Oh no, I'm cornered! I hope it's not the one that's gonna run. I hate the running ones. Okay, Ivy, I assume you just have flamethrower equipped right now? Yes, you do. Okay. Die! Use flamethrower, Ivy! Do it! Good. We did it. You've completed a mission. Would you like to leave the dungeon now? Yes, I would. Do you really want to leave? Yes, I do. Ta-da! We did it. Yay! Okay. This is... Oh, Magnemite's talking this time. Alright. This is... You brought Skip Loom in for a rest. This is... This is... Take this item as your reward. This is... Rizzo's team received the item Blue Gummy. The Blue Gummy was put in storage. 400... Congratulations! Team Relic went up in rank from the Silver rank to the Gold rank. The number of items that can be kept in storage has been increased from 200 to 320! Yes! For advancing in rank, the item was rewarded one... Ginseng. I always, always forget what that is. This is thank you for your cooperation. You're welcome, Magnazone and Magnemite. We did a good thing. We worked hard all day long. I'm tired. We should get some sleep now. We'll need it for another full day tomorrow. Okay. So you know how I said that that was going to be like the last thing for this video? Well, I changed my mind because that was really rather fast. And in order to try to keep things at like these videos at a half hour instead of like 20 minutes. See, I'm trying to give you guys longer videos and stuff um, with what I'm working with. Well, I figured that one more dungeon should be able to help me reach that goal just like a little more closely. So we're going to go back and do one more. Probably take on another star outlaw because honestly, those don't seem too bad. I don't know, maybe the star missions would be more difficult because... Or if we just go to like a harder, you know, area. But I haven't had to yet is the thing. Like there have been star missions that would give me a good deal of explorer points, exploration points, whatever it is. Um, always go too far down. Without having to really go to those like really high level places. So I don't know. Outlaw notice board. We have one at Quicksand Cave, Crystal Cave, Brian Cave. We were just at Brian Cave. Okay, well that would give us 400, 250, and 150. Let me check, maybe I shouldn't do an outlaw, maybe I should try another job. Let's see what they have over here. So we have these two A's at um, Steam Cave, which together though would only give me 60, which isn't that fantastic. Um, we do have this at Brian Cave. Okay, so I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this, we're gonna guide Abra, and we're gonna go take that, um, the Outlaw one too from Brian Cave. And hopefully it won't be terribly difficult, but be able, being able to complete two star things in one area should give us a good deal of, you know, rank points or whatnot. So we're just going to again accept this one, and then head right back to Brian Cave! Yeah, we're just gonna rush out and do it. I don't need to skip ahead, it's right down here. I just have to kind of idly talk until we reach that point so there's not a big deal of silence. And here we are, so let's go now to Brian Cave. Yes! Yes, that's right, we're going to do it. Again, this area isn't too difficult, so I really think I should only be concerned once I find the outlaw. But, you know, these kind of, you know, 
What am I thinking of? Um, escort missions, there we go. Are always a bit difficult because they're not the highest in level again. He's level 12, but thankfully this area isn't too difficult aside from the outlaw. It shouldn't be at least. I don't know. Then again, escorting him was said to be like a three-star difficulty, I think. It was at least some star rank, you know? But maybe that's just because he is level 12 and that's a really low level even for this place. I don't know, I'm just kind of thinking out loud at this point, trying to reason it out. Because that would be the only thing I could think that would make the difficulty, like, that would increase the difficulty. Because if he, I were to escort, like, a level 90 Abra, it wouldn't be that difficult. So the, you know, the ranking wouldn't be that high. And the Graveler Rock is apparently the only thing on this floor, so I don't even have to feel bad if I want to take the stairs right away, assuming that I find them. Die. Die, I said. Thank you. Okay. And up here. Nope. Hey, can I actually reach you with Razor Leaf then? Yes, I can. Cool. I wasn't sure about that corner. It seemed kind of sketchy. Um, I'm gonna just go straight to the left this time. And if it's not there, I'll head up. Nope. Hey, look, it's a seal. Ow. Again. It doesn't actually do a lot, but why not? And you? Okay. I think that's just a dead end down there. Yep, here we found the stairs. Fifth floor. I actually don't remember where any of the, like, where we're supposed to go are. As in, where the outlaw will appear, I don't remember. Oh, I'm gonna say right here. Wanted outlaw spotted. Oh no, crap, it's a running one. These are difficult just because, again, they run, they flee, like... Uh, nah. I don't know which way he's gonna go, so I'm trying to cut it off. You know, Rizger to level 39. Good. HP went up one. Special attack went up one. Special defense went up one. Ha! So I'm just gonna. I'm gonna let Ivy take care of it in Abra. Oh, Abra. That seems like a not a smart move. Oh, come on. Let that hit the stupid giraffe rig. Oh good! He's, he's not being smart right now. Okay. Oh good, and now I can actually Mega Drain him, which is more powerful. I did get in the way of Ivy's um, flamethrower, but if he moves one more to the left, Ivy should be able to hit him. Or, or not, I guess. Oh no, she did, okay. Okay, giraffe rig was defeated, good. Yes, knocked out outlaw giraffe rig. The ones that run are just annoying because it's like, you know, it's hard to do. Yes, continue exploring. And I'm gonna try to find, there's Abra. Okay, come on, buddy, don't teleport away. Actually, can I switch your moves? No, I cannot. Uh, that would be really helpful if I could turn off teleport so I wouldn't have to deal with that. Because that does make it difficult just for the Pokemon that he is, you know? You've reached the destination floor. Oh, good, Abra seems happy. Thank you. Yes, Abra left the dun- That was it? You wanted me to take you here and then you'd leave? Wow, that doesn't feel worth it at all. You've completed a mission! Yes, I'd like to leave. Do you really want to leave? Yes, I do, game. Why won't you just- I'm just kidding. I understand why it, you know, makes sure. I feel like that's smart that it confirms it. Because I've definitely hit the wrong button before. This is- You brought your Abra again for a rest. This is- This is- Take this as- Or item as your reward. This is- Received the item clear gummy. Yes, cool. And another one! Avalanche, ooh, that seems powerful. I actually don't remember that move too well. I, I've heard of it, but I don't- Oh, I think Energy Bell was what I was thinking of when I picked up the Gyro Ball, all curiously. I think that's an item that might be good for Turtwig, so I'm definitely gonna have to check that out. And we earned 400 points for that one. And then, for taking Abra there, even though he didn't want to go there, I guess. Let's see. Please accept this 5,000 Poke. Okay. Good, and we got 500 from it, ugh. 400 Explorer ranks though, so that's good. We got 800 total from those two. Not a bad sum. We were tired all day long. I'm tired. We should get some sleep now. We'll need it for another full day tomorrow. Yes, and so the two slept, and it was very peaceful and everything, and yes. Well, all right. Good morning, Riz. Let's make it another great day. 
Alright, so I feel like we got a good deal done, you know, we we reached the point where the shaman area, shaman village is open now, so I think that we can continue on with the post credit story. We got up to gold rank, so now our storage is bigger, and we're still getting more points and all that, it's all cool. Um, I am wrapping up, obviously, well, I, I, I assume it's obvious. I'm going to check the Kangaskhan storage first for energy ball, because I know that I'm gonna forget if I don't do it now. I know that I do. So, can I even take anything out? I'm asking because I feel like my, my storage, my backpack might be full. I hope I didn't just pass it. I think I did. Okay, energy ball, energy ball, energy ball! Oh, I already had one! Alright, info, let's see. Inflicts damage on the target even at a distance. It may also reduce the target's special defense by one level. So, Riz, or yeah, Riz could learn it. Okay, I will take it out just to see. Okay, good, I did have room. Let's see what it might do. So, items, energy ball, info, does it... See, I want to see, like... Okay, yes, that one. Ugh. Oh, good, this is what I wanted to see. So, the hit ratio is higher, the power is higher than, like, Razor Leaf. I think that this is a better move than Razor Leaf right now. But it's also probably better than Tackle, because what's not better than Tackle right now? Let's see what Tackle has. So, hit ratio is 8, which is good, and power 4. Normal, physical. But if I look at Riz's... his stats, so Riz, summary. His special... okay, his attack is actually higher than his special attack! I did not know that! Alright, and that's... oh, but that might be because it's boosted because of, like, the... Uh, tort horn, I think it was. Alright, so my thought is that I do want to replace something with Energy Ball, but I'm not sure what I want to replace at this point. I don't know if I want to replace Tackle or Razor Leaf. Let's look at Razor Leaf really quick. Four and three, that's just so sad. It does have a high critical hit rate, but... Okay, deciding factor. If Energy Ball... This is more difficult than it should be. This. It is line of sight as well. Okay. I'm not gonna decide right now. I can't decide right now. Like, Tackle just seems like the obvious choice because it's one of those moves that every Pokemon learns at like level 5. And so it's like, yeah, you replace that as soon as possible. But really, if Energy Ball and Razor Leaf are both line of sight, if Energy Ball does more damage and has a higher hit ratio, and it can lower special defense, it just seems superior to Razor Leaf. Even if Razor Leaf does have a higher critical hit rate, if it doesn't hit very often and it doesn't do much damage on its own, I don't know if that would really cover it. Does the critical hit rate double it? Would it bring it up to 6 stars? But even then, Energy Ball was like 8 stars, or if nothing else, 6 stars. I'm gonna check one more time. Come on, okay, so X, that, that. Yeah, it's 6 stars, so if, if critical hit does like double the power in terms of stars, then it would make Razor Leaf equal to Energy Ball. Screw this. I don't want to have to decide anymore. I am replacing Razor Leaf. Forget. Yes. Yes. Riz learned Energy Ball! If that was terrible, then it was terrible. But that's fine. I'm going to save and return to the top menu because we're calling it here. Key outro, go!